Jada Pinkett Smith mm. is finally speaking out about the infamous mm. Oscar slap between Will Smith and Chris Rock. Jada spoke out on the latest episode of Red Table Talk. Mm. Let's take a look. Now about Oscar night, my deepest hope is that these two intelligent, capable men have an opportunity to heal, talk this out, and reconcile. The state of the world today, we need them both. And we all actually need one another more than ever. Until then, Will and I are continuing to do what we have done for the last 28 years. And that's keep figuring out this thing called life together. Oh, way to quote Prince. Um, <laughs> this thing called life. Uh, what did you think about that? <laughs> this is going to be difficult for me. Um, these are my peers. I've done a movie with both of them. Set it off with Jada and Independence Day with Will Smith, which absolutely changed my life. When I saw this video last night, It made me cry. I'll be very honest with you guys. <sighs> Come on, Viv. Oh, stop the dramatics before she goes into her emotional monologue. That's Vivica Fox. She was a guest co-host on the Wendy Williams show. You know, that one show that used to be hosted by a woman named Wendy Williams, but she's been MIA from her own show for about a year now. They've been having all these guest co-hosts. But on this show, Vivica Fox was one of the fill-ins. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click that notification bell for all updates. Let's go ahead and get into what Vivica Fox had to say about Jada Pinkett Smith. I really felt to be a partner to Will Smith, whose career basically took a crumble that night. We were all rooting for Will Smith that night. Oscar night, we wanted him mm -hmm. to win. Will Smith that night, as far as I was concerned, was going to be crowned this generation's Sydney Portier, which is a huge honor. Mm -hmm. I felt to be a good partner, there was no accountability. Will Smith was defending her honor. That was why the reason he walked on stage and slapped because he felt like his, his wife had been offended. Mm -hmm. So for me to see no accountability as a partner, also let's not forget that Chris Rock was assaulted. Mm -hmm. We cannot forget that. Mm -hmm. for basically telling a joke that I really felt wasn't that bad. Let's not forget that this show was executive produced by Will Packer, an Afro African American man. This night was a night of African American and diversity for brown and black people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that now will forever be scarred. Um, I have love for the Smiths. I know the children, I've watched them grow up. I just wish that we could have had a little bit more accountability um, and it, for it to not seem so self-righteous on Jada's part. And that's my feeling. Hmm. Okay, well said, thank you. How did you feel? I didn't love her turtleneck. <laughs> Seemed overwhelming. Seemed overwhelming. Um, it's like an Angora neck brace. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna leave the deep stuff to Vivica. I'm here for fashion commentary. I, I will. I will add, in all seriousness, it seemed, it seemed like she was reading a teleprompter and it didn't seem, um, this is a moment where you wanted it to be like off the cuff and like, God, that was a crazy night. And just tell us how you really feel and tell us, you know. Yes. Um, but it seemed just very like, like, like she was ro like a robot. Like it's a it was a little cold. It was a little cold. And the other part when she said basically that the two guys have to work it out, I was like, why does Chris Rock have to work it out? Right, um, yeah. I don't know, I don't know.
Jada Pinkett's response was cold because she's cold, she's evil. I'm somewhat surprised that she said what she said about Jada, but Vivica, she was right here. Jada made it seem like it was just something going on between Chris Rock and Will Smith and she had nothing to do with it. Like, come on, Jada, you had everything to do with it. Will Smith, he was laughing until he looked over at you. And then when he went up there to so-called defend your honor, you thought it was hilarious. But now she's on Red Table Talk with this dry, disingenuous statement. She talked more on that show about alopecia, about how horrible it is. But she didn't talk about how she used that red table to sit up there and expose her family, expose herself. She exposed her husband whose online presence is his bread and butter. And one of the main ways he's able to provide for the family. Put him in this awkward position to be made fun of. And you can't forget about her running around having relations with her kid's friend, talking about entanglements, always bringing up Tupac all these years later. You know, it was all of that that led to that slap at the Oscars and she was at the center of it all. And first of all, Will Smith, he had no business going up there doing what he did. She put that battery in his back. Next thing you know, he's up there doing what she wanted him to do, doing all that laughing. She thought it was funny. He went up there and made a fool of himself. And that's really why she was laughing. She couldn't believe that she was able to get him to do it. In the game for decades, one of the biggest nights of his career, something that he's been waiting on for a long time. And she was successfully able to take away that good shine, dim his light because he was shining so bright. And with a jealous, entitled wife, that just didn't sit right. And then the reason why Vivica made those statements about Jada is because she knows the truth. The truth is, Jada Pinkett, she does not deserve Will Smith. She never did. She didn't want to marry the man. She didn't respect him. And friends like Vivica, they all know it. That's why a couple of years ago on the Cocktails with Queens, you had people like Vivica and I remember Lisa Ray even saying that she would be with Will Smith if she had the chance. They know Jada, she does not deserve Will and people like Vivica, they'll take him if they could. I mean, they literally said that on one of their shows. Even while she was hosting Wendy, she said, yeah, I work with Jada on Set It Off, but working with Will on Independence Day, she said that changed her life. That's exactly why a couple of years ago, they was up there trying to put those bids in because Will Smith and Jada the relationship was looking real shaky. They wanted Will to know their availability because Jada she didn't appreciate him but they saw him as a man that could change their lives. So yeah that's why Vivica said what she said. She's acknowledging that Jada is selfish and ungrateful. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. What do you think about Jada's statement and what do you think about Vivica holding Jada accountable? Special thank you to Smoke, Jensen, Dark Power, and Spencer. I appreciate all of you for your support. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.